Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about my must have makeup products for a red carpet look. Kind of like the staples in my makeup kit, products that I can't live without that really make a difference in the way makeup looks when it's photographed in different lights. So with no further ado, let's get into today's video. Red carpet makeup, is quite different than your everyday makeup look or just like a beautiful glam. Why? Because of the light. What really influences the way that your makeup looks is the light. And when you have those super powerful flashlights that professional photographers are using, you have to have a perfect makeup look. The client has to look beautiful from every angle. The super natural makeup looks that you would typically see, they take a long time. I've recently went to Nice to do Amina Moadi's makeup for Jacquemus show. It was a beautiful show in the middle of the day. So the show started at 12. And this is the makeup look that I did for Amina Unfortunately, this is the only video that I have with her look. But as you can see, this makeup look is looking pretty natural with a lot of glow. However, it did take me two hours to do it. So the first product that I always make sure I have in my makeup kit would be this primer. Now this primer, Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer, is something that works with, from my experience, absolutely every skin type that I've personally worked with. It's just giving you a great base so that the foundation looks spectacular. I can really see a difference in the way skin looks and the way foundation glides on the skin when I use this guy. I'm not going to talk about skincare in this video because it really depends on my client. With skincare, I have so many products in my kit because, you know, skincare should be tailored to that person's needs. Uh, and the same is with primer. But for some reason, this primer just works with everyone. When it comes to foundation, I have plenty that I use in my makeup kit. But by far, the one that I rely on the most would be the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. There is just something so special about this foundation. Um, the way it photographs, it just, it's stunning. The way it does not deposit a lot of product on the skin, it's just, it's traceless. It somehow succeeds to be become like one with the skin. And I know a lot of people love it, but for some people it might not work. This would be like eight times out of 10 that I would use this foundation. This is gold. A product that I don't use necessarily for myself as much, but I do like it on my clients, I have to say, is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. When you apply this before your foundation or on top of your foundation as a beautiful glow, it just, it just does something to your skin. It kind of shines through. It's so beautiful. I don't like it that much on myself. I think it's a bit too metallic, especially for everyday use. I would use it occasionally, you know, especially if I have a special occasion. I have other products that I prefer to use on myself, but I have to say for red carpet, this is really good. Concealer. You would be quite surprised here because um, I don't use this as much on myself, although I love it. I have this in absolutely every single shade. I adore this concealer. I find that it is probably one of the most hydrating without creasing too much. Now, let's be clear. Every concealer in this world will crease if you have wrinkles. If you are the type of person who believes that your concealer, that this concealer or that concealer won't crease just because they say it's creaseless or you just got to learn that it's not possible. It is just not possible. There's a lot of movement around the eyes. The concealer will move. But there are some concealers that will crease 
a lot and there are some concealers that will crease a lot less but they all crease eventually now this one is hydrating but it does not crease as much and what happens usually with hydrating concealers because they do have a lot of hydrating uh, ingredients in it it tends to crease right not, not this one so that's why i would say again eight out of ten I would go for this one. The second concealer that is another staple in my makeup kit is NARS. You guys, NARS is fantastic. A bit more drying than this. It has also a little bit more coverage than this. But for me, that concealer, again, I have that in my kit. I didn't take it out of my kit, but I have every single shade and I adore that concealer. And it's been in my kit for, I don't know, the past 12 years, maybe. These two products from Tom Ford are an absolute must. This one is Shade and Illuminate. And this is one of the most high-performing product of its kind. The reason why I like this so, so much is because of its color, the texture. This texture somehow blends into the skin. It doesn't add coverage. It just gives you color. It photographs impeccable. You know, I, again, I have multiple products in my kit, multiple products that will do the same thing, which is contouring and sculpting the face. But this is just beautiful and I can rely on this product that it will photograph beautifully and that will not give me any patchiness. A second product from Tom Ford is Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in Moonlight. There are clients that I have where I use this all over the face. All over the face. Obviously, you know, controlled. Like, I'm not going to apply this uh, shimmery situation the same amount everywhere. But it gives you this glow as if you're not really wearing foundation as if your skin has a natural glow that's how it's translated in pictures in real life you can see it you can see that is product but in pictures this is doing something outstanding in 2010 or 2011 dior had a similar product with this uh, it looked like a brick and Again, that product I would apply it all over the face. It, this one reminds me of that. That one was all, also like a fantastic product as well, but they discontinued. So yeah, this is kind of like my secret we weapon for that supernatural glow in pictures. Next product is the Persona Cosmetics. This is called Blush Multi Sticks. Now, I adore adore this blush stick now the reason why i like these is not only because of how beautiful it glides on the skin but the colors and what's really nice about them is that you can apply them after you powder because they have this really beautiful natural glow and their consistency is not going to lift the foundation as you apply it. So you could definitely apply after powder and you will give the most beautiful glow. They are long lasting and check out these colors. Now, all of them are stunning, but Bubble, which is this one right here, you wouldn't say much about this shade, but I promise you, when you apply this on your skin, it's like it brings happiness on your face. That's how unbelievable this shade is. I also love this other one. It's pretty intense, but trust me, for medium, medium dark skin tone, even for myself, sometimes I use it, but I have to be just, you know, adjust the quantity. The shade is Kiss. It's gorgeous. And you know what? You could apply this on your lips as well. So you could definitely apply it for like a everyday makeup look. But if you're a makeup artist, this is going to become your new favorite. Moving on with one of my favorite products to use on the red carpet, and that is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. 
I went through many of these powders. They do finish quite, <laughs> quite quickly. I don't use it that much on myself, although you have seen me using it on my channel, but you guys, for the red carpet. I feel like it also has a little bit of coverage. It's not like a translucent powder, so it has some color and it just blurs the skin as you apply it. I ha I use at least three powders on my clients, at least three powders. I like one powder under the eyes. I like one powder on the rest of the face. I like this as a finishing powder, but I feel like this is really making everything come together. It's that powder that will make your skin look airbrushed, literally. I also, one thing that I do, I give my clients a little mini retouch kit and the retouch kit usually um, contains the lipstick that I've used on them, which, uh, you know, I just buy those uh, disposable mini containers on Amazon and then I just put the lipstick that I've used on them and then I gift it to them. I buy these Charlotte Tilbury powders. I know it's an investment and I, I know that not a lot of makeup artists can afford to do this, but for my clientele, it's really worth investing uh, in these small powders. They just appreciate it. And then I also bought from Amazon the tiny little powder puffs. And then one thing that I also add in my retouch kit is a mini mascara. So the mini mascara that I always use on my clients, if I've used mascara, because a lot of times I would use lashes, fake lashes that do not require mascara on top of them. We will discuss in a bit, but the ma mascara that I give them is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. And I prefer to use that than the disposable spoolie because one, I could just gift it to the client. They are always super happy to receive it. And two, I think 50% of the mascara is made by the wand. So if you're going to just use those those disposable ones i feel like it's not the same effect you know so i just buy the small ones and i gift it to them but yeah giving back going back to this powder it's just amazing when it comes to eyebrows this has been in my kit for years back in the days anastasia beverly hills had this palette available on their website i haven't checked but check out my description box and if this is available i will definitely put a link this is everything you need to create a beautiful natural or more intense looking eyebrow now the reason why i prefer to use powder is because powder has always been kind of like the base it creates a shadow in your eyebrows and that's exactly what I want. I mix a lot of products because if you only use, for example, powder, the, the powder is not as strong for those flashlights. So if you're only going to use powder in the eyebrows, obviously it depends on, you know, the, the eyebrow that you're working with, but for a, a more sparse eyebrow or if you need a lot of filling, this product is not enough. In most of the cases, this is my base. This is my base and then I would come with either a brow pen or a brow pencil, but I always use a powder as my base. So it's a staple in my makeup kit. Two products that I love from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I have a lot of things that I love from the brand, but these two products in particular, I always have them at all times, especially since I've discovered this glow stick. This glow stick is very, very special compared with everything that I've used uh, because it will give you this wet glow without lifting the product that you already have on the skin and it doesn't really have color, which is just amazing, right? I could use this on light skin. I could use this on dark skin. It's just beautiful. Sometimes I would apply powder highlighter and come with this on top for that super beautiful glow. This is what I was using on Amina right here to give that very natural looking glow without adding any, any color, any texture. And this other product I love to use on the waterline. I've used 
many products on the waterline. Nothing compares with this. A lot of them just gives you a very weird looking eye. It doesn't do what I would want it to do. So I find, I find that this consistency and especially this color is just perfection. When it comes to the lips, I have tons of products in my makeup kit. I'm not exaggerating if I tell you that I have over 200 products for the lips. However, there's just something special about this lip dew that if you apply on top of anything, even on bare lips, it has the most special glow. When I apply this on myself, because my lips are uh, naturally quite pigmented, it looks, it's, it looks stunning and it's kind of like sufficient. I don't have to apply anything underneath. However, uh, if I'm dealing with someone that has more pale lips, I prefer to apply like a non-transfer lipstick and then get this on top and it's stunning, stunning. Uh, it's from a brand called Vive and since I've discovered it, I think I bought like five of them. This is a very, very recent product in my makeup kit. I, I didn't use to have this back in the days. My, my absolute favorite setting spray uh, would be the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. But if you have oily skin, if you sweat, this guy will impress you on another level. Uh, it's from a brand called One Size Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Sometimes I have clients that have a very, very oily skin uh, and they don't like a lot of powder. Like I use powder on them, but not as much as I would love to. And this is kind of like my secret weapon now. I love this spray. This is going to mattify the skin, but not make it like lifeless, you know? After this, I do have to admit, I go on with, where is it, this product just to make sure, you know, I still have that beautiful glow. But I apply this in the, in the center of the face, usually where the skin gets more oily. And I mean, this product I apply on the center of the face where the skin gets oily and I adore the effect. One product for the eyes. Obviously, you know, there's such a variety in my makeup kit. Eyeshadows, cream, eyeshadow powder, eyeshadow stick. But when it comes to black, because, you know, black, I use it most of the time. Black eyeliner, or I want to just use black in between the lashes. The product that I rely on the most is this Inglot gel liner. And this is not a surprise. It's been in makeup artists' makeup kit since forever. It's the blackest black. And um, I just, I can always rely on this product. I have to say something. I don't use this on its own. So most of the times I would just map uh, the eye with something else where if I make a mistake, you know, it's easy to, to remove it. And then the last, 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 last step would be this. Because if you, God forbid, make a mistake with this product, there is absolutely no way you can remove it unless you use like an oil-based makeup remover, which is going to ruin eventually your whole base on the eyes. So that's why I like to map out the eyeliner, whatever I'm, I'm doing, graphic or more smudgy, and then go on with this. And it's bulletproof. I would say that my kind of like secret weapon in my makeup kit will be the Lashify system. For those of you who are not familiar with Lashify, this is like an alternative to lash extensions. And these lashes you're supposed to keep for, for about a week or like 10 days. However, I prefer to use these as, you know, just the regular beautifying lashes, not like a long-term type of lash for my clients. The reason why I prefer to use Lashify, they come in this like lash set that they call Gossamer, uh, and you have different sizes, different styles. What's really special about these lashes is that they go under your natural lash and you do not see them. They look incredibly natural and 
with traditional lashes that you would apply on top, no matter the glue that you are using, it's still a little visible. And I will never forget cover that I did with Amina Moadi uh, and this, this very good photographer and the picture that he took, she was looking down and you could have seen the lash glue because he took, you know, flash photography and there are ways you could cover that. Uh, you know, I, I used the uh, Ingla gel and then I used powder and then I used black eyeshadow on top, but somehow that was still noticeable in that picture and I just regret it so so much and listen I would be a liar if I told you that every single makeup that I did was uh, amazing I made a lot of mistakes in my career but what's really great about making mistakes is that this is how you learn I just wish I didn't learn the hard way <laughs> because that was a very very important cover uh, and I never posted it because it just haunts me to this day. I was not proud of that makeup just because of that damn lash glue. Lashify is a system that you can use at home. It's super easy to use. I have presented the whole mechanism, the whole system uh, in a full YouTube video a couple of years ago. I'm going to link it here. I use it less on myself and the main reason is because I'm trying to save these for my clients because I'm not gonna lie, they're not cheap and I, I just use them once. I use them once, the client will wash her face, take them off, right? Uh, so I, I just try to save them. The brand uh, sent me quite a lot of them and I'm so so grateful however you know they could only send this much and I, there is a, there is a specific style that I love from them so then I just purchased that style uh, a lot but nothing compares with uh, Lashify in my opinion they are so well made and the the eyes look absolutely beautiful I'll put some pictures in here uh, with Amina wearing them I'm not going to lie to you, I don't apply lashes uh, for everyone. When it comes to red carpet or like special events, I have to say even women with the most full lashes still in the pictures do not appear as full as they would in real life because somehow the, the, the flashlights, they just diminish everything. They diminish intensity of colors, they diminish contrast, just everything. If there is an, a red carpet event, I would prefer to use lashes. But I would say if someone is asking me to do a makeup for, you know, just a simple glam, I wouldn't always apply lashes. So Lashify for the win. I know it's expensive, especially if you are using it like I do on my clients because you need to get all the tools, all the disposable uh, ones, but I personally think it's worth it. And if you have that top clientele, definitely worth it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. These were kind of like the main products that I wanted to talk about. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video or if you want to know more about my makeup kit or products that I love in a specific category for my clients. I would absolutely love to do these videos for you. As usual, every product I've mentioned is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Let's go eat right now before I make a crime.